welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a topic that is one of my favorite ones, but sadly until now hasn't really been part of my YouTube channel. And of course I want to change that. So today I'm giving away some easy fitness and workout tips for travelers. Despite the fact that every second person claims to be a digital nomad these days, I'm also going to call myself a digital nomad. But unlike many other digital nomads, my travel partner Greg and I are actually nomadic. We travel all the time, we don't have a house and this nomadic lifestyle comes with a couple of challenges that people that have a house, that have a base, would probably not face, or at least not the same way. And one of them is staying fit and healthy while traveling full time. Working? Yeah, working hard. So let's talk about my daily workout routine and why it works. I work out first thing in the morning, which comes with a number of benefits. Your metabolism gets going and your body wakes up knowing that it's going to be active that day. Which means not only will it continue to burn calories throughout the day, your brain will also stay more focused, which helps your workflow and eventually your productivity. Which is great, right? So what do these workouts look like? I used to do a lot of running until I started having problems with my joints and my heels. And to be honest, as great as running is for losing weight, it can be quite hard on your body, especially if you're not a regular runner. Also, my motivation for working out was not to lose weight, but to stay fit and healthy throughout my travels. One of my very good friends is a hobby fitness instructor and he taught me a lot about how to use these exercises to reach my goals. So thank you, Sean, in case you're watching this. All my exercises only use body weight, which is the most important part. It means that you can do the following workout anywhere, no matter if you have a garden, a gym, or just a hotel room. My morning workout is relatively short, only about 20 minutes, but high intensity, which means I would do as many repetitions as possible in like 40 to 60 seconds. For this, you can set a timer on your phone or use an app, which I'm going to talk about later. All right, but now let's jump right into those exercises. If you already know how to work out and how to do all these exercises, you can jump right to the last minute of this video to find out how the heck I stay motivated to do this workout every single morning. Squat jumps, going low into a squat and then jumping up as high as you can. This exercise is great to get your heart rate going and also to wake up your whole body. Courtesy lunges. Step back and then to the side with one foot while keeping your weight on your front heel. This trains your legs and gluteus, so it shapes your butt. Mountain climbers. Your weight is on your upper body, which you want to hold steady. Keep your core tight and then start climbing as fast as you can. The mountain climber is a very effective full body exercise, especially good for your core. Up and down plank. I love planking, but I know that it's difficult for most people because they have a heavier core. And that's totally fine. You can also do this exercise from your knees. Same accounts to the side plank, which gets rid of all this unnecessary side fat and love handles. Important is that you keep your core nice and engaged and not to lean back or forward. Last but not least, leg raises for lower abdominals. This one is not super high intensity, but I like it, especially as a finish off. All right, these were some of my favorite travel exercises. Again, they can be done anywhere, even at the airport, if you don't mind people staring at you while you do them. Of course, these are not the only exercises that I do throughout the whole entire week. It is important that you have a nice balance in there, so don't only train your abs or your legs all the time. I will put together a nice list of exercises that I use myself and put them all on a spreadsheet so you can download them whenever you like from the link below this video. Okay, workout apps. Like I said earlier, you don't need a workout app to do these exercises. 
You can set a timer on your phone and after the fourth or fifth time, you will know how to do them properly. The two apps that I'm using currently are called 7-Minute Workout and Home Workout. I have to mention that I'm not doing a promotion here for them. This is entirely for your information. And of course, there are hundreds of other apps that might work even better for you. So the final and most important question, what gets me going every single morning? What gets me out of bed to do these exercises? I'll tell you a secret, it is actually not that difficult because I am prepared for it. My body is used to waking up in the morning and doing the exercise. So it is actually way, way easier to work out every single morning than it is two to three times the week. You might not believe that right now, but once you get into the routine and you have your fifth or fourth day of the week, you don't actually want to stop doing it anymore. Don't forget to download your free exercise spreadsheet from below this video and have fun with those exercises. Have fun working out. That's the most important part. So I hope I've been able to give you a better understanding on how I stay fit while traveling. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up because that way I know that I should be making more of those videos in the future. Because as I mentioned before, I usually don't do exercise videos. I do lifestyle and travel videos, but it is one of my passions and I really enjoyed making this one. Also, be free to subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about our location independent lifestyle, some travel updates and yeah, possibly more workout videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.